Today's video is sponsored by Native Sons Goods, makers of premium quality guitar, bag, and camera straps, handmade in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Check out their website to order your own custom creation and play in style. And remember, when you support my sponsors, you support this channel, and I sure appreciate it. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Look at that. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Brad the Guitologist here. Uh, i got a little bit of a different video for you today. The other day I was watching a fellow YouTuber's channel and he came up with these things. These were labeled from walmart.com as uh, finger picks, uh, but obviously with the way that they have these, they're, they're not finger picks. I think what they were trying to do probably is cover their bases and uh, anybody who was searching for, uh, for finger picks would come up with these things. But what I think these are actually is they're little things that slip over your fingers uh, that are latex and they're supposed to, for beginners apparently, protect your fingers so that they don't hurt as bad while you're learning. That's my guess as to what these things are. And what I thought we would do today is uh, check these things out. I went on walmart.com after seeing his video and I'll uh, link his video down in the description if you want to check out the original one. But uh, I went ahead and bought a set of these things and we are gonna test them out and see what it's actually like on a guitar. You can see uh, you've got larger ones for your thumb and then you got some smaller ones. And I think there's supposed to be 12 of them here all together. Uh, we have some smaller ones. This is uh, clearly a pinky one. And it looks like they have little slots here where you can uh, put your fingernails, I guess. Like if you want your fingernails to go through it. But again, they have 12 of these things. So I don't know if they expect you to wear one on each of your fingering fingers and and also one on your you know your picking hand as well before we do this what i should do is uh, show you you know i'm not a terrible guitar player so if if these things make me play terribly then uh, at least you'll know that I, you know, I can play a little bit so <laughs> the idea you know I can play a little bit of guitar at least um, I'm, I'm curious to see which kinds of techniques uh, this is going to be conducive to and which which sorts of techniques is are going to be completely impossible as a result of wearing a set of these so let's let's put a set on obviously that one's for the thumb and this one's for the pinky so we'll get those out of the way you know this will kind of also give me a sense probably of what it's like to be Tony Iommi because you know, using something like this, it's you kind of lose a lot of the feeling of the fingertips. It's like, you know, you're you're sort of divorcing your uh, the feel of the string from your finger in a way. I can't decide for sure whether it's a good idea or whether this is something, you know, because this might be okay. Like if you're trying to convince your child or something to keep playing uh, and not to give up on those lessons you've invested all that money in. You know, after you've also invested all that money and uh, the equipment and everything, this might actually keep them playing for a, a little while longer, perhaps. But let's see what I can do here. Um, clearly, I don't need that. I don't need the thumb one. So I'm guessing. Let's just let's just do it on my fingers, my picky. Jeez, man. <laughs> Sliding is impossible. Look at that. It just <laughs> that's that's you can't slide. I bet it, I bet tapping might be fun though. Let's try. Uh, actually, my tapping skills are kind of um, kind of hindered anyway because I I grow my finger nails out so that I can finger pick. And I've never, I've never really learned tapping all that well because of that, because I've always had fingernails. So anytime I go to tap, you know, it just, it just screws me up. Okay, let's, let's try that. Thank you. 
that's just awkward. No bending. There's no bending either. Yeah, there's no bending because the only way you could bend with this is if you had like scallops on your fretboard. Otherwise, that's just, that's a lost cause. Yeah, and sliding is not comfortable at all. You can just feel it sticking the whole time. Again, my guess is this is this is sort of marketed uh, at beginners and who don't want to hurt their fingertips or don't, you know, or they haven't formed calluses yet, but you're never going to form calluses if you wear these. So there's kind of a, that's the catch 22 of it. You know, this is a, another one of those ridiculous, uh, ridiculous products that you're really better off without. And besides that, these things have only been on my hands for about two, two or three minutes now. And they're already, I can feel them just constricting my blood flow to my fingertips. I think if I left them on here for too long, I actually would end up needing some kind of prosthetic fingertips. Because I'd have to amputate my fingers. It's a neat sensation though, kind of, I have to admit. And you can hear the little ticks, ticks, ticks. That's because there's little, there's little bumps on these uh, that this string actually can get pick caught in so you can do pull offs and hammer ons but yeah but look at that you can't, I can't do any kind of doing vibrato is out of the question Too. I'm used to sliding to different notes like in certain passages you know when I'm just kind of screwing around and it's it's making it impossible to do that oh there's a bend that wasn't too bad tried to slide and it just came right off. I think I may have even broken it. No, it didn't break it, but it just slid it right off. My pinky's coming off too because I keep trying to slide with my pinky too. Yeah, they just, they won't stay on really that well. It's just, I, I just strange. <laughs> See, sliding again, I'm trying to slide. Again, trying to slide with that pinky. I'm so used to doing it. It's kind of hard to stop yourself. This might be, uh, this might be something if you, uh, if you're trying to stop yourself from certain habits, 
you know, if you're trying to break yourself of certain things so that you can regiment your practice schedule or something like that, something silly like that, maybe, maybe it would be uh, worthwhile, but... <laughs> Just a weird sensation not being able to slide up to that note. And you can hear me fat fingering it about every other note there. Right. <laughs> So there you have it. There are, uh, whatever these things are supposed to be, uh, they, I'll tell you what they do though, they prevent me from being able to slide, they prevent me from being able to do vibrato, uh, they prevent me from being able to not fat finger every other note. Yeah, just not, not really a worthwhile investment I wouldn't say if for your youngster, uh, if they're just starting out. Kind of a novelty. Uh, it's kind of fun for a minute, um, for, and for five bucks, like I said, it was, it was worth five bucks of fun for me, but, uh, you know. There may be some benefits, I don't know, if you practice with these long enough, you, you may, uh, it may teach you actually to arch your fingers a little bit better, like if you're starting out, perhaps, you know, because if you can play cleanly with these on, then you could probably, you can play cleanly anytime <laughs> so, so anyway there's that hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have hit subscribe down below hit the bell to receive all notifications and for now y'all take care